My name is Dr. Lottie Tajuri. I'm Associate Professor in Molecular Biology and Genomics in Health Science and Medicine at Bond University. I'm also a member of Dubai Future Council for Community Security and Dubai Police Scientist Committee. The first time I actually got an interest of mobile phones as contaminated platforms was associated with actually my wife's pregnancy. Uh, we come up to a situation uh, where there was an emergency. Uh, my little girl was in breach uh, while um, uh, my wife was actually pregnant. And we had to go very quickly to the, to the theater. And uh, what happened is uh, when there was this preparation of the cesarean, uh, I actually saw that there were some healthcare workers uh, walking around with their mobile phones. And really with the stress of the situation and knowing that I'm actually understanding clearly what is microbiology, uh, I was really like saying, oh, there is a red flag here with uh, some individuals right there in the theater where there was my little girl about to be born, uh, that something was kind of wrong. Uh, and of course, uh, it's nothing to blame around uh, the healthcare workers and how what they, they, they do their, their job. Uh, the issue was that they don't really know that mobile phones are actually contaminated with microbes. So that was the very first time where I said to myself, or I think I really need to do something about it. We did a survey within the hospital and uh, we, we actually surveyed 165 uh, healthcare workers, uh, including doctors and nurses. And we found something very interesting. First of all, 98% uh, of all those healthcare workers actually admitted that probably, indeed, mobile phones are contaminated. They're aware of that. The other thing which was very interesting is their behavior around the mobile phones. 52% of them, so out of 165 individuals, use mobile phones in the bathroom. And they use that for different reasons, from uh, media to, to other social media, etc. And the other very interesting uh, statistics is that 57% of them never ever washed their mobile phones. We have uh, undertaken a, a massive amount of swabs of mobile phones and then what we wanted to do is first of all demonstrate that the microbes that are on the surface of mobile phones coming from healthcare um, workers, if those microbes were viable. After swabbing the mobile phones, we did actually take around 30 mobile phones and we culture them in different types of petri dishes. It was very impressive. If you look at the pictures that come up from those particular uh, petri dishes, you see huge amount of colonies coming out of it. All sorts of type of bacteria that we found. We found E. coli demonstrating fecal contamination. We found Pseudomonas aerosinosa, which is extremely resistant to different types of antibiotics. We found Salmonella, we found Listeria, even very very interestingly, we found parasites, protozoa. One of them was, for example, Antameba histolytica. So those mobile phones are platforms that accommodate a huge panel, a huge spectrum of microorganisms that interact to each other and they are viable. So we started the video by me, for example, working in my office and holding the mobile phone and simulating a cough. And with that cough, obviously, we deposit droplets on the surface of the mobile phone. And then, because we tend to text or touch our mobile phones, what will happen is that I will then obviously touch my keyboard and do my whereabouts for my work, uh, take a phone call or take a glass of water, etc. And then, after that, I decided, of course, to get out of my office and go, for example, to a kitchen. And you will understand that because I touched my uh, filthy uh, mobile phones, I had actually the microbes on my hands. And then when I went to the, to the kitchen and eat and use whatever uh, device I wanted to, to, to use, for example, the coffee machine, well, same again, you could see that spread going from uh, again and again and disseminating itself in different areas now. So it will be natural for me once a while to use the toilet, to use the bathroom. So then I decided to go to the bathroom and same thing. So in the bathroom, you touch different uh, surfaces, the, 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 the doors, uh, the lid of the, of the toilet. So when you wash your hands, yes, your hands are clean, 
However, when you touch your filthy mobile phone, what happens is you contaminate yourself all over again. The mobile phones are our third hand. Those third hand needs to be hand washed, sanitized the same way as we want to do with our two normal hands. If we don't decontaminate our mobile phones, it means that we negate the hand washing. The solution is very simple. At least wipe off your mobile phone uh, with a, a clean felt uh, uh, cloth, uh, put a little bit of 70% isopropyl alcohol, but you have to be very careful when you wipe off your, your mobile phones with this type of, of material. If you really want to clean your phone, never clean your phone when it is switched on. Switch it off first. And the other advice I will tell you is probably go back to your uh, phone uh, manufacturer uh, recommendation in how best you can clean your phone. Our research at Bond is very clear, and this is also backed up by the literature. The best way forward to sanitize your phone is by ultraviolet C. And they are, as I said to you, some very, very great uh, uh, technology which is out there that do the job within 10 seconds that will really be the solution for our community, for our healthcare workers and for any type of professional sectors. And my, my dream is to get the World Health Organization, the CDC, etc., to embrace this technology, to first of all understand that those mobile phones are actually probably transmitting diseases because those mobile phones are Trojan horse for the enemies that we carry with us all the time, all those germs.